What's up everybody, King of Foma here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to be talking about e-gold yet again. There's a lot to talk about today. I'm going to be doing probably three videos in a row, so for those of you who are patrons, you'll get those videos right away. If you're not a Patreon, you'll see them on YouTube within the next couple days or so. We're going to be talking about e-gold today, but we will get into things like the Ethereum merge and kind of what's to expect next for that. And we'll also talk about Evmos. Evmos has been doing extremely well with the staking, so so I wanted to go over that too. But in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about e-gold yet again. So some pretty massive milestones with this. I told you guys in my last video, my price prediction for the price for e-gold from this auction was about $10. And it's almost doubled that. Right now it's at $16.37. That is the price in which it's going to launch on PancakeSwap. And that's the price in which these people are going to get these tokens that have uh, participated in this auction. Now that is pretty huge for a lot of reasons if we take a look at the calculator here we're almost at three million dollars worth of miners purchased uh, so every single dollar or every single hash is worth a dollar and there's about 2.9 million hash that people have purchased uh, so that's going up as well and again, that's one of those things where the more network hash there is, the less payout you're, you're going to have overall. It's going to be more distributed overall. So uh, one, definitely one of these things where it's better to get in earlier rather than to wait for the network hash to get extremely high before FOMOing in. So if you do want to decide to jump into here, that's something to keep in mind uh, instead of waiting for too long. Now, just taking a look here, 50% ROI in one month. So I've only been in here for a few weeks probably I think a little bit less than a month really uh, I don't remember exactly when I started this you can look at my first video on it but nonetheless uh, I spent two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars on the uh, g4 miner so that's this one right here uh, and you can see that my net yield so that's according to the current price the current price right now again is sixteen dollars and thirty seven cents my net yield what I can pull out of this platform is about one thousand and sixty one dollars that's about 45 percent of what i used to purchase in one month that's pretty darn crazy now some things will definitely happen once these tokens do get launched um there will be uh, there's going to be a lot of different i mean you can speculate as to what's going to happen you can speculate that because people are at 50 percent roi a lot of people might want to actually cash in those tokens and do their first claim and get that ROI, which might actually cause the price of the token to tank pretty significantly. But nonetheless, I'm actually really pleased with that because even, even if that does turn out to be the case and this $16 token goes down to $10 or goes down like 50% to $8, that's still a really, really good return on my investment from one month uh, right here. Uh, but of course, the other things to keep in mind is the way that the tokenomics works for eGold. So as people are kind of FOMO cashing out, you have to understand two things are going to happen. And, and this might be really, really good for people who are actually going to hold out and not, you know, jump the gun while they're licking their lips for that 50% ROI in one month. Uh, if they hold out and don't cash out yet, two things are going to happen for them. Number one coins are going to get burned so it's going to become more scarce of a token for e-gold so that's that's a pretty big deal in itself obviously supply and demand the demand's going to be way up in the beginning and the supply is actually going to decrease as people cash out and that demand will increase over time as people continue to mine more e-gold tokens and they're going to want to cash out more and they're going to have to purchase more as well um, so there's that the other thing to note is the, met, uh, the meta hash so we talked about meta hash a little bit earlier in this video so that meta hash is actually going to decrease because people did their first claim. It's going to decrease by, I believe, 5%. Uh, and it goes down 5% every single time you do a claim I mean, we can do this in the calculator here let's just say that uh, i don't know we're just going to make up some numbers here we'll say 30 days uh, number of miners one we'll do a g4 miner and we'll do count uh, claim count two so this is going to be someone's second claim there's again their depreciation fee is five percent 
from doing that second claim. So because of that depreciation fee, essentially everyone's getting paid 5% less and you're getting paid the full amount if you decide not to cash out with everybody else uh, as soon as this thing is done and launched on PancakeSwap. So there's a lot of ways to play it. I'm not saying which one's the best thing to do. It might be better to actually cash out your tokens if the price of the coin, uh, the price of the e-gold token continues to drop significantly and nobody else is jumping into here. <clears throat> And there's no other reason to use e-gold. Um, so, or, or like I said, with the scenario that I just explained, it might be you might be way better off holding this token. I mean, let's do another calculation here. Let's just say you're holding this token for, uh, let's say, 80 days, so like a almost three months, two two and a half months, and uh, you have a G4 miner. And let's just say that you're on claim, you're you're on your first claim, so claim zero or one uh, at, at the current price. So we can calculate that. And you know you're already getting from that 80-day mark. You're already getting about a 1,000, uh, almost about a $1,000 profit, even uh, if that price stays at $16, or if that price depreci- depreciates a little bit. I mean, there's so many different ways to look at this. Uh, and you have to keep in mind, even though it seems like there's just going to be constant sell pressure, there will be buy pressure eventually, and there will be burns. So those are some things to, to keep in mind. All of everything that's being, those fees that you're seeing right here, the meta fuel fee, the depreciation fee, and the warehouse fee, all of that is getting burned as people cash out. Uh, so that's going to essentially cause the price to go up as it reduces the supply, theoretically. So that is everything for eGold. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. Um, now, l- final notes here. If you guys have kind of just been kind of sitting on the fence for this for a long time, uh, if you see here, this sale ends the 16th of September. So by my clock, that is tomorrow. So it's um, you know 12.56 a.m. right now. So that's in about 24 hours, maybe a little bit more or less, depending on the, the BSC chain block. You guys can follow, it, follow along right here to see the exact time with the blocks remaining uh, because that's what it's calculated by the blocks. Uh, but nonetheless, it's in about a day. So if you're going to participate in this auction, you have a day to do so. And same case, uh, if you guys want to purchase a miner, I haven't decided yet. I'm either going to participate in the auction one more time to get a bigger share of e-gold, or I'm going to go back and purchase another uh, G4 miner. I haven't decided exactly which one I'm going to do yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to kind of figuring out <laughs> that within the next 24 hours or so. Uh, and the uh, the last thing that I'll say with this auction is... With many auctions, this is the case. I'm not going to say this is guaranteed to be the case with this one, but with many auctions, you have a lot of FOMO in the beginning, which is pretty much what happened. That's what drove the price to basically immediately $10. And then you have a medium amount of FOMO in between. And then at the very end, like the last kind of hour, maybe even the last couple minutes, uh, people really FOMO in and, and deposit huge chunks, which definitely could very well push this price to twenty dollars and beyond uh, i mean let's go ahead and plug that in if the, if the price i mean th- that's definitely in the realm of possibility if the price were to hit twenty dollars and let's just say i had my one g4 miner let's go to g4 and we'll say one miner and we'll say the mining period is about 30 days because that's how long it's been this is claim count zero this is going to be pretty much over 50 percent in one month if it gets to that point so a lot to look forward to with e-gold that is everything for today guys check out my other videos if you want to learn how to join this or, or you know do more research on it for sure before you jump into it you do need busd to do everything in here uh, but i cover that in my other videos you guys can just kind of scroll back on my videos and, and watch the first ones i talked about this so that's everything for today guys catch you in the next video like comment subscribe if you want to become a patron to get access to my videos earlier than everyone else on youtube then go ahead and become a patron Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.